That's what's happening, Greg, your Franklin Equipment Sales. Wanted to do a quick video to show you how to replace the sprocket on a steel chainsaw and also how to recognize when it does need to be replaced. So this customer brought this chainsaw in due to the chain binding up whenever it was turning. It was wanting to make a popping noise and not turn freely. So we got it in. Pretty much knew what it was going to be that it was going to need a new sprocket, but we're going to show you how we knew that. Now that we've got this saw all cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and remove the E-clip and the washer that holds our sprocket on. And you can see here how much wear this sprocket has. I'll show you more whenever we get this off compared to a new one. To do this, all you're going to need is either a pair of needle nose or a lot of people will just use a flathead screwdriver that's on their saw chain wrench. Make sure you don't lose this, they are easy to drop. So now that the sprock is off, you'll notice also on your shaft you have what they call a needle cage bearing. We're going to replace this as well. So if we look at this sprocket, you'll notice that there is a groove all the way through. Pretty significant wear. This is what a new one looks like. There's no grooving at all on your spur sprocket compared to your wore out one. You really want to catch these before they get to this point. Once they start getting some wear into the actual spur sprocket itself, go ahead and replace it. Otherwise, it's going to ruin your chain and it'll do this to the drive links of your chain. See how these are rounded instead of having the catcher on them? So this guy's going to also have to replace this chain. Now, when we go to replace it, the first thing that we always recommend doing is putting a new needle cage bearing on there. This is your needle cage. That's what your sprocket rides on. We're going to put just a little bit of grease on it. It doesn't matter if you're using uh, standard grease or, or some type of special lubricant, but just a little bit. You don't want to gob it up. Just get a little bit on your tip of your finger. Roll it around here. And then you're simply going to just take, place your needle cage bearing right back onto your shaft. Now, if you'll notice on these sprockets, there's going to be a little groove. When you're putting it back on, this groove is designed to catch the oiler on the chainsaw. So this is what spins your worm gear, making your saw oil. You can actually see the shaft of it if you look through here. Once you put it on, spin it, make sure you feel like it's giving you a little bit of resistance. That's, that is it, catching the oiler. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our washer and our E-clip. Once again, when you're putting this on, just take a pair of needle nose pliers, put it up there and put your part of your needle nose right in that hole and then just pry up on it with the other part. Simple as that. Now we have our new sprocket installed back on this chainsaw, so we're ready to put the new chain and bar back on. So I hope this helped you guys figure out how to replace your sprocket on your steel chainsaw. This model here is your MS391, but pretty much on all steel chainsaws, minus their top handles, it's exactly the same. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below if you have any questions or like to see a certain thing. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Check us out. We look forward to seeing you the next time.